Okay, this is uh, one rigged up on 25 pound braid. Like I said, I fished 25, 30, and I have found that, I don't know, but seem like the smaller the diameter, the better results you have. Uh, I like uh, 25 or 30. Don't want to go much smaller than that. Even, even on this 25 that's on this, after you catch a few fish, the fish will, teeth will nick the line right in front of the knot right along in this area. And you'll want to keep pay attention uh, and uh, retie, cut off about, you know, six inches of line and retie. I've got a good friend that makes these jig heads, Mike Arbuckle, uh, real good five or seven owner or a uh, Gamagatsu hook. Really, really nice hook. This is another rig that I've been catching a lot of fish on this year. Got a purple head. Pretty much basically the pearl chartreuse tail. Uh, for some reason, the bubble gum pink has always been a, a good color, especially if the water's more stained. Seem like uh, on my end of the lake, we've got the Red River Arm. The closer you get to where the river comes in, the murkier the water is. And uh, seem to me like that pink. Here's one of my all-time favorites. This is this is what we call white ice. You can see it's clear and uh, got a pearl belly on it. Got glitter in it. Love to dip and dye that. And also they make this dip and dye not only in the chartreuse, but they make it in the hot pink. And uh, sometimes I will take uh, these baits and dip the tail in the pink. Here's another color that we've had a lot of success with. It's called bait fish. Use all these on different combinations. The black head, the red head, the pink, the blue, the purple. From day to day, it can vary and, the, and it can change. As a matter of fact, last trip I was out, I had this uh, lime green to chartreuse looking fluke on a purple head and it was working very well. Uh, we were mid lake, the water's a little clearer around there, but it was working really well that day. Uh, 